Hello everyone, welcome to learn data structures and algorithm in Python course. In today's lecture, we'll be discussing about sliding window technique. So let's start. What is basically sliding window technique? It's not an algorithm. It's basically a technique that helps us to solve some complex problem in optimized way. So with the help of sliding window, we can optimize some complex problem, reduce the time complexity. So first, how do we identify a problem we can solve using sliding window technique? First, let's discuss about that. Whenever you find a problem that is asking for, let's say, continuous element, consecutive elements, or let's the elements put in a sequence, that could be elements, that could be a character. And there will be a size given, a fixed size given. Then we can think about this sliding window technique. So the elements must have in continuous manner. So what we see in DP, dynamic programming, the elements can be here and there, random. But for sliding window technique, the elements have to continuous manner, right? So that's how we can find a sliding window technique that we can apply or not. And next thing, where we can apply? Most of them are applied for array problems to solve string uh, based on problems let's understand through an example let's say you are an array given okay and a size given let's say three now what you have to do you have to find the sub arrays from this array of size three so you have to find the sum of all sub arrays of size three in this array then what it will be look like so first sub array will be six two three then next sub array will be 239, next will be 391, next will be 914, like this, right? Now, if I ask you to, let's calculate the sum of all sub arrays of size 3. Then what you will do, first you will take this sub array, then we will calculate the sum of this element, the element fall in this sub array, in this particular sub array. So it will be 6 plus 2 plus 3, right? Then you will be moved to this sub array, the next sub array. And because the size is fixed, so here you can see it's 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 creating like window, right? A window of fixed size. And every time we are just sliding the window by one element, right? In the right. That's why this technique is called sliding window technique. And what kind of problem we can solve using this technique? We can solve, let's say, maximum sum sub array or minimum sum, right? Minimum and th the size will be fixed in this particular technique and the elements will be continuous. Okay. Now, let's see how we can solve this particular problem. Okay. First, what we have to do? First, we have to calculate the sum of all sub arrays. Then, from this sum, we have to calculate what is the maximum okay so let's first understand okay what is the size given size is 3 right size is fixed now when we first go to this sub array and we will calculate the sum 6 plus 2 plus 3 and let's let's take it as let's say 11 okay the sum of this sub array will be 11 now we have to move to this sub array okay as the length as size is fixed so for this what will be the sum? 2 plus 3 plus 9, right? It will be nothing but 14, okay? So, similarly, we'll be calculating for this, for this, for this, and this. Now, how we can write the code for this problem, the brute force approach? First, we'll take two pointers. One will be i and one will be j, right? And we'll be running one for loop. We'll be running one for loop for i. And i will be I will be ranging from, I will be ranging from, from where? From 0 to, from 0 to, from 0 to n minus k, okay, n minus k. And if we exclude this last element, so we can write plus 1, okay. So first, we'll write a for loop starting from 0 to n minus k plus 1. Why n minus k plus 1? Because whenever we reach in this point, right? This is the ending, right? We can't exit from here. That's why we are 
running or i from 0 to n minus k plus 1. Then inside that what we will do? We will run another for loop for j. For j will be varying from what will be varying? From 0 to k. Means whenever we are at this point, we are at this point, then from here we will be adding the elements and this pointer will be we consider as j okay then what we'll do first we'll take a dummy variable let's say sum and initialize with zero then then what we'll do we'll just add the element to this sum sum plus equals to this error of j right error of well, let's say i plus j so this is the brute force approach so first i will be zero then will be inside this i will create another pointer j and j will be varying from 0 to k right means 0 to k minus 1 the last element will be excluded last index will be excluded right then we'll add the element one by one then what will be the sum what will be the sum will compare them with maximum if the sum is maximum then we'll update this with the maximum sum so max sum will be max of this max sum and sum so this is the brute force approach and what is the time complexity for this algorithm you can see first we are running one for loop right for i and then another for loop for j that is why time complexity for this algorithm will be O of n square. Okay, this is the brute force approach. Now let's see how we can optimize this problem using sliding window technique. Now let's look at this two operation. The first operation, operation 1 and operation 2. Now if you observe carefully, whenever we calculate the sum for this sub array and this sub array, this 2 and this 3 is common for both, right? So, what is the difference here? Here you can see in this window, this 9 is added, this 9 is added and this 6 is removed, right? The 6 is removed, right? Now, similarly, if you see the operation 2 and operation 3, then also you will notice this, this 1 is added and this 2 is removed from here, right? This 2 is removed from here. Now, if you see it uh, in details, let's say the first operation. First, we have to calculate the first k element, right? So, this is first operation. And what is the sum? The sum will be 11, okay? Now, what is the next operation? In the next operation, what we'll do? We'll just add the last element. So, let's say in this operation, this is the sum. And what is the next element? 9 is the next element, right? So, whatever the sum, what we will do? We will add the next element here. We are adding the next element here and removing the first element from this window. Okay. Removing the, what is the first element? First element is 6. Then what will be the sum? What will be the sum? Sum will be uh, 11 plus uh, 3 equals to 14, right? Now, if you calculate, 2 plus uh, 3 equals to 5 plus 9 equals to 14. This is right answer, right? Now, if you consider, now go to here, then what will happen? So, previous sum was 14, right? Now, what is the next step? We'll add this next element to here. So, we'll be adding 1. Then, we'll be removing the first element, okay? Removing 2. Then, what will be the sum? sum will be 13. Now, if you add this also, 3 plus 9 plus 1, it will be nothing but 13. Similarly, for this operation also, we can do the same thing. We are just doing two operations. We are just adding the current element, right? Adding the current element here and removing the previous element. So, here what will happen? We don't have to calculate this thing. We don't have to calculate this thing again and again. Assume here the window size is 3. Now, let's say window size is 6. Let's say window size is 6. And every time, every time when you slide the window, you have to calculate this element again and again, right? But what we could do, what we could do, we could just do two operations. We could just add the current element here and remove the previous element. 
so that's how we can optimize this string so previously what was the time complexity we are running two for loop but here what we'll do in one iteration one single iteration we can find the sum right that's how sliding window is very efficient to solve complex problems is now let's write the code for this particular problem so for this what we'll do first we'll calculate the sum calculate the sum of first k element right now let's say sum equals to zero now we'll run a for loop okay then i will be from zero to k will be calculating the sum of first kth element right then let's say sum equals to let's say sum equals to 11 right then what we'll do in the next step in the next step we'll run another for loop let's say for i will be starting from i will be will be starting from this position so let's say 0 1 2 right what is our kth value k is 3 now we'll be starting from this kth value 3 will be starting iteration from this k 3 so i will be starting from k and this i will be goes up to what the last index the last index okay so last index so what of let's understand will be starting pointer from here so i will be initially at k right and the i last i will be here so i will be n minus 1 right and the last index is excluded that's why we are taking n then what we'll do we'll just update this sum so sum plus equals to sum plus equals to what we'll do we'll just add the current element let's say we are at this position where the first iteration right then whatever element present here at i equals to k right whatever element present at i that we will add okay so first operation is we will add error of i okay sum plus equals to error of i then the next thing will be removing the previous element right so what will be the previous element if i is at k if i is at k then what element we have to remove we have to so let's say i equals to 3 okay then which element we have to remove we have to remove this element right we have to remove this element then then what element will be removed will be removing i minus k so k is 3 here k is 3 here i is 3 and k is 3 that's why 0th element will be removing now let's say we are at this index so it will be 4 it will be 5 so let's say we are at this index okay i equals to let's say 5 okay now which element will be removing will be removing i minus k okay i equals to 5 and k equals to 3 means index 2 the element 2 will be removed so this index will be this element will be removed right so here so that will add and this element will be removed okay so we'll be adding the current element and we'll be removing error of i minus k okay this is our current sum then what is our next step next step we have to update our max sum so we'll be update our max sum with this current sum so max sum will be max of max of max sum and current sum right current sum then at last we'll be returning this max sum so this is how we can solve this problem now let's go to our vs code and write the code for this let's take this array okay error is given and uh, size given let's k equals to 4 okay now you have to find the maximum sub uh, of sub array of size k k equals to 4 right so for that we have to write a function def and let's name it as find uh, maximum okay and it will take an array and a size k then what we'll do first we'll be finding the length of this array so let's take n equals to len of arr then what we'll do first we'll take a variable let's say current sum okay and initialize with zero then we'll run a for loop for calculating the first kth element right for i in range and range will be from 0 to k minus 1 right that's why we'll put k here 
then after that what we'll do we'll be adding uh, the element one by one into this current sum so current sum plus equals to error of i right so this this first step is done initialize so this thing is done so let me show you so first this thing is done we have successfully uh, calculated the first kth element right the sum of first kth element now we'll be running another for loop and i will be for this i will be varying from i will be varying from k to n right we'll be starting from we'll be starting from here we'll be starting from here we'll be starting from here and goes up to here right so from k to k k minus 1 that's why sorry k to n minus 1 right that's why we are taking k and n and then what we'll do uh, first we'll take a variable let's say uh, max sum okay uh, max sum and max sum currently equals to current sum okay then we'll compare this with max sum so what is the first step so first we'll update this current sum current sum plus equals to what we'll do we'll add the current element here okay then we'll be removing error of n minus sorry i minus i minus k here okay done first step is done then what we'll do we'll update this max sum so max sum equals to max of max sum and current sum okay done then at last we'll just return this max sum okay return this max sum now this is done the function is done now let's call it let's print uh, find max sum then pass this array and let's pass the k now if we run this now you can see the max sum here is 24 max sum here is 24 and what will be that that will be this sub array okay so that is the current answer so the here we are finding the maximum sum similarly you can find minimum sum of sub array of size k so in sliding window the size of the array would be fixed right that is the criteria fixed later we'll see how we can apply for dynamic size sliding window technique right so this is the introduction to sliding window technique so hope you are enjoying this video see you in the next lecture thank you